Hello viewers welcome to this session on role and responsibilities of counselors in open and distance learning system i am dr srikant mahapatra vice chancellor of orissa state open university located at sambalpur orissa we are discussing about role and responsibilities of a counselor in open and distance learning system the key term that is focused here is the counselor please note that you are all teachers most of you are teaching in higher educational institutions with lot of experience and qualifications and research publications but let me tell you that in open and distance learning the term counseling which is used is slightly different from teaching though you are expected to cover a subject as per your specialization but the method of teaching and learning that you are supposed to adopt in a counseling environment or in a class situation is slightly different and my point is to throw light on what is that methodology what is that strategy that you should adopt to become a good counselor in odl system i use the term teaching and counseling in teaching you are supposed to come to a class cover a topic for say 45 minutes to 1 hour and the students are expected to listen and take notes but in a counseling session the students are expected to come prepared you are also expected to come prepared and we create an environment which is roughly around 2 hours where you will initiate the discussions and the students or the learners are expected to participate in the discussion process so if we say that in teaching in a regular university system you are indulging in a monologue because you are talking the students are listening here in a counseling session you are expected to take a lead role but at the same time the learners are expected to participate and enter into a dialogue with you so your job to be a successful counselor is to encourage the learners how to interact how to participate in the discussion how to ask questions how to express their opinions and views about the topic it's not only a teacher learner interaction it is also a peer group interaction so you have to make the classroom environment absolutely informal so that every student every learner will get feel encouraged to participate please note that the profile of the distance learners is completely different from the profile of the students that you face in a classroom environment in a regular university or a regular college here in open and distance learning the first difference is the age group they may come from the age group of 18 to 20 or they may even come from the age group of 60 to 80 but bulk of the students will be 30 plus if it is a post graduate program and bulk of the students will be 25 plus or between 23 to 25 or 30 or even higher age group if it is on the graduate program many of them are employed in a traditional university system you don't allow a student to be employed and at the same time a full time student so in open and distance learning many students are in the higher age group bracket they are employed many of them are married also and many of them have a degree or a diploma in the subject in which they have taken admission but at the same time they want to enhance their knowledge so there are some students who have come to an open university system to get a degree 
there are some who have come to the open university system to acquire knowledge but in a traditional university system you find that the majority of the students who have come and joined a program have come to acquire a degree so the profile of the learners in open and distance learning is completely different and that you have to understand so in the very first counseling session your duty and responsibility is to know your learners who are they are they married are they unmarried are they senior citizens are they normal students in this age group which you see in a conventional university system are they employed are they coming from the urban area are they coming from the rural area what is the distance from the study center from their residence place of residence how far they are covering every sunday to come for the counseling session it is very important for a counselor to know the profile of the learners and i request all of you if you want to be a very successful counselor please first class get yourself familiarized acquainted with the learners so that they also get the opportunity to know each other that is the first thing that a counselor should do the second thing that i expect a counselor to do is he or she should be a source of inspiration for the learners he or she should be a motivator he or she who is a counselor should inspire the learners to get involved in the teaching learning process because many of them may be school dropouts many of them may have left their formal education quite a few years down the line so they have again come to an informal system of education which is called open and distance learning system to acquire a degree or to enhance their knowledge so you have to again play the role of a motivator you have to inspire them and you have to encourage them so that they get associated with uh, the studies in which they have taken admission now one of the greatest problem that many uh, students in open and distance learning face is the sense of isolation sense of alienation so you have to encourage them you have to integrate them with a group so that the sense of isolation and sense of alienation sense of aloofness will get reduced day by day and they feel encouraged not to miss your counseling session the next time or next sunday that is a responsibility which i expect a counselor to be uh, doing uh, when they are uh, involved in the uh, counseling process another aspect which you have to keep in mind is that you should set an example for the learners you should be sincere you should be punctual as far as timing of the contact class is concerned you should come right on time or before time don't ask the student to wait for the counselor it's not a good habit not neither it's a good practice many of the students as i have said are uh, seniors knowledgeable they are part time remember they are part time students on a sunday they have so many other social commitments family commitments in spite of all their commitments they have come to the counseling session so please show your sincerity your dedication your honesty while you come for the counseling session please also know that your command over the subject or the topic that you are going to cover in the classroom or in the contact class counsel out you should have a complete command over the topic that you are going to cover in the class so come prepared for the counseling session see the self instructional material which the university has prepared read it because the students are expected to read this self instructional material when they come for the counseling session so as a counselor since you are initiating the discussion and actively participating in the debate that will follow you should have complete control or command over the topic that is being covered in the self instructional material please note that self instructional material is not sufficient you have to also 
encourage them to see the supplementary material in the form of videos which are available in plenty in e resources of the universities you can also encourage them to go to the open educational resources which are freely available in the internet you can also encourage the student refer to additional resources which are available in the form of e library or the digital library there are plenty of open educational resources on each and every topic so encourage the student to use the technology as far as possible so that the students will not only read the self instructional material or the e content that the university might have uploaded on their website but at the same time they will also take the help of additional resources like the youtube video programs or even uh, some universities have audio sessions in the form of internet radios so please encourage the student to refer to these additional supplementary teaching resources so that they will have complete knowledge over the subject you should also tell the learners to motivate others who have not attended the counseling session so that the counseling session will have more number of learners and it will become more interesting so what i would request all of you is not only know your learners but in the initial class form a whatsapp group and keep motivating them at every regular interval encourage them to attend the counseling session remind them to cover the self instructional material before they come for the counseling sessions and if some learners are not attending the counseling session please also inform them that their absence was felt in the counseling session and you do expect them in the next session to make the counseling and the interaction more lively so your responsibility i know that a academic counselor in open and distance learning system is it's a part time work for you but nevertheless it's a very challenging work if you become a very successful counselor it will help you in different aspects of your life it will encourage you to become a good teacher it will encourage you to encourage your student in a regular university system to ask questions to enter into a dialogue to initiate a discussion so that it will be immensely beneficial to your both uh, students in a regular university system and your learners in a distance university system but nevertheless you are having command over the subject and that matters a lot so my dear counselors my advice to you from my long experience of association with open and distance learning is please understand your role as a teacher number 1 having command over the subject but as a motivator as a friend as a philosopher as a guide and as a source of inspiration to the distance learners i am pretty sure with these qualities you will prove yourself to be a successful counselor in open and distance learning system thank you very much thank you very much